Okay, the start cap. Now we're going to take one of these apart and we'll kind of look at what's inside. Note these are not the same as say a run cap. Here's a run cap right there. Note the size. That's a 5 microfarad run cap. This is a 590 to 708 microfarads. This thing is huge compared to this. Gigantic. Not much bigger, is it? Okay, the reason it's not much bigger is this is only made to be in the circuit for a short time. When I put a hard start kit on a compressor, uh, meaning it'll start against a difference in head pressure to suction pressure. If I have higher, if I have head pressure and suction pressure in the off position when the unit's shut off, if I have different pressures there, they usually won't start until they're equalized. Well, if it's a TXV controlled, it may not equalize. So you need a start cap and a start relay. I'll get the relays in another video. But these are only in the circuit for just a very short time. They are uh, uh, very large in their strength, but if you left them in the circuit, they would uh, essentially uh, puke black stuff at you. Okay. Uh, this one here is the easiest to look at, I guess. And we'll get a close-up on this. Here's your two terminals. Uh, doesn't make any difference which is which. Uh, this little doohickey right here, that's a soft spot. And what that's for is if this capacitor was to short out inside or the start circuit got stuck on, Instead of this thing actually exploding, which they will do, uh, it'll actually blow out that little hole. And what it does is usually blow a bunch of tar all over the place out of that little hole. So that's just a weak spot that's put in there as a safety precaution so this thing doesn't make a kaboom or anything. Okay, so in the circuit for a very short time, and... Uh, very high strength compared to run caps. In the next video, we'll test these capacitors.